What is going on today, guys? It is friggin' oh Jesus, what day is it today? Monday, June the 19th. A little bit of a different video for you today. Oh, just finished up dinner, had some chicken in the air fryer, vegetables, and I'm having a uh, throwback Pepsi. We love this stuff. But I'll show you what we got going on today. Check this out. Those look like honeybees to you? Look like honeybees to me. And they're getting in beside, behind all my siding for crying out loud, so just so happens a buddy of mine's a beekeeper. He's gonna kinda on his way over right now actually to uh, have a look at the situation. He said uh, there's two options. We can uh, pull off the siding, find the uh, wherever the hell they are. There's a bit of a cavity in between the uh, uh. the wall and the siding. It looks like they put some sheet metal and styrofoam for uh, insulation. So I think they've found a cavity in there. So he said we can either remove the siding, get the cone, pull it out with the queen, relocate them all in one day, or he can bring a bee box with a, he puts like a cone or something in the, in the, the hole that they're getting in so they can get out but they can't get back in. So eventually they start to swarm on the bee box until eventually the queen makes its way and then they all make their way into that box. Uh, he said that's less invasive. It's, he's never tried it before, but he's been researching it. So I think we're gonna try that route first. Uh, they, I just fixed that clothesline two weekends ago. Maybe even a weekend ago, two weeks ago. Week and a half maybe? I don't know. Anyway, it wasn't that long ago and there was no bees there then, so. They can't have, uh, they couldn't have done too much stuff inside of that wall. So I think we're gonna try the bee box method. If that doesn't work, then we'll just have to rip the siding off and, you know, that's really our only option. So, anyway, we're gonna uh, give that a try. But uh, for now, I'm just waiting until he gets here. Oh, so he's here. He's gonna just on grab a hat so he can pry open the siding a little bit and just have a better peek, like a face mask. All right, well, I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the uh, siding. We're gonna take the siding off. We figure that the area of concern is right around there. In behind the wall, there's about a gap, about that much. And there's a bunch of styrofoam insulation. And right above this window here, there's metal flashing that goes up about that high. And he can hear the bees right around there. So we're thinking that is where they're hiding out. It's been a couple weeks they've been in there. So we're gonna pull this section of siding, this section of siding, and then we should be able to pull that flashing down. He's busy till Thursday, I'm busy. So he's gonna come back Thursday night and we're gonna get that done. Hopefully it's not too crazy of a job. Anyway guys, till Thursday, we'll see ya. Oh, well, what's going on today, guys? It's Wednesday today, the 21st, and this is another day dealing with the bees. Buddy's still coming tomorrow, but uh, anybody who knows me, there's a big job that needs to be done, and it's kind of one of those things where you don't really know what you're getting into until you tear it apart. I had to start tearing it apart. I couldn't wait, and I'm actually shocked at how tame these honeybees are. Um, it's really shocking. They're, uh, they're super, super tame. I'll show you what I've done. Yeah, this is what I've done to my house. <laughs> I had to take out a few rows of siding. Um, and then, uh, the tar paper. I've got all sorts of it inside, so I can replace that. I just ripped it off. And then, uh, these sections of, uh, foam insulation. I don't know what kind of, what, they almost look like they're in two by eight sheets, or maybe this was just a two by, they cut it at two foot, because of what was left to fill in at the bottom but anyway i wish i had i don't even know if i got look at there, there's a little bee there see him he's carrying a little piece of pollen on his legs and he's trying to make his way up inside my house and yes you heard me correctly 
they are inside my house. <clears throat> I pulled this all apart because we thought they might have been down inside of there. But no, they are not inside of there. Look at ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you can see in there. Try and open that up for you so you can see. I'll shine a light in there. Nope. Oh, I wish you could see, but you can't. Anyway, I drilled this hole. And I can see with my naked eyes, but we can't see with the, uh, we can't see with the light, but there is a whole whack of bees just chilling out inside of there. So there's two ways we can go about this. We can cut in from the floor up in my daughter's room, which I don't really want to do. Or we can go in from, actually there's three ways. Did I say three ways? Cut in from the floor in my daughter's room, cut in the ceiling drywall, or what I think we're going to do, we know where the joists are because there's nails showing. So we're just going to cut here. We're going to cut right back there and we're going to pull this whole board out and that should expose the hive. And we should be able to get the hive out that way. Yeah, so that's the way we're going to go about it. It looks like they're fairly close to the wall, so it shouldn't be too bad. I don't know if there's two scabbed together there. It looks like there's just one. So, and then what I'll do is on the jo floor joists, I'll just scab a piece of two by whatever. And then I'll just, I can put this piece back in, fill this with PL or whatever, just to close the gap. And then what I'm going to do after that is up in here. I'm going to hit it all with spray foam, close that gap completely. So nothing can get back in there again. So <laughs> fun times, isn't it? Fun, fun, fun times. Oh, you know, and what we're thinking is downstairs in the basement, there's always been a yellow stain on the wall. Well, or on the ceiling, I mean, right exactly where that spot is. And when I peeled back the flashing on that window, there was a whole bunch of dead, mummified, pretty much, bees. So what I'm thinking is long before we ever lived here, they had a problem with bees. And that's exact same spot. They didn't do a removal. They probably had a um, exterminator come in, kill the bees, didn't extract the hive. And then the hive and the honey and everything else rotted in there and attracted mice. Mice got in there because you can smell it. And they sealed it all back up with caulking so the bees couldn't get back in. And then this spring, I had a bunch of vines growing on that exact same wall right there. I started pulling the vines out and I pulled back and separated the siding from that caulking. And bees are attracted to old hives, so that's why they made their way back in there. My buddy's coming over at seven tomorrow with his bee vac and his bee box and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut that piece of wood out and we're going to get rid of this hive the right way and he's going to bring them out to his house where he has bees and uh, they will have their opportunity to continue doing the great pollinating work that they do so we're going to save these bees we're not going to kill them so anyway we'll talk to you in the next clip we should be getting ready to cut that piece of uh, wood out and uh, we'll really be able to see what's behind there. So we'll talk to you then. All right, the process has begun. There's our beekeeper. I think it's about just after six, they're all starting to come back. We're gonna cut right here and right here pull that board off and that should expose the hive that's the plan anyway we'll see the way my life goes nothing ever goes to plan <laughs> so impending doom is it imp that's basically it impending doom so anyway see how she goes <laughs> campfire. That's why I wanted to have a beer. Oh, there's insulation in there too. I can see it. Oh, look at them all just falling out.
there's a gap where there's no insulation and you know what did that I think you the mice oh I think the mice are to blame for these bees be. I think the yellow spot was mouse piss. Oh shit. The floor wants to separate it. Ball. Yeah, it's crazy, eh? We're like just, just wrecking their shit and they're not even trying to land on you or nothing. Yeah, these guys are pretty tame. Kind of shocked. Oh! Holy shit, Adam. <laughs> what? It's not that big. No? That's about the size of the one that I saw on... Uh... Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get my camera and get a picture of that. Yeah, get a picture. Just cut into the subflooring here. And we've opened up the cavity and we got ourselves a nice big ball of bees. They got some uh, fresh cone in there, you can tell, because it's nice and white. So this is a, a fairly new hive that's moved in. Right on. And so... we're going to extract that. So what are we going to use to get them out of there? We're going to get the Wayne Suckmaster 2000. <laughs> <laughs> the Wayne... It's, it's a bee vacuum that I've come up with uh, from a few designs on the internet. And I've tried it out at home and the bees seem to be pretty safe. There's a large survival rate with it. So we're slowly going to go into the hive, layer by layer. Suck off the bees, remove the cone. Suck off the bees, remove the cone. All, all the time we're looking for the queen. Perfect. So she's the... Right on. player in all this. So when you suck the bees out, they the vacuum sits on the top and yeah, then Yeah, so there's two sections to the bee vacuum. The bees will be contained underneath and they're separated. From oh, they completely separate yeah, from the top? Okay. from the top part by a screen. Oh, so all cool. the suction will go through the screen. They'll get sucked through this hose, which is smooth, so they don't get damaged when they get sucked in. And then they're all contained in the bottom half. The beauty about this unit, I've built other halves, so with really big hives, if that box fills up, I can take that off, put the top on another bottom, and there keep sucking. On. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Took a case of beer to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, helps everybody out. Yeah. Right okay. on, man. Cool. So, so we're gonna, gonna give her nails knife, on this. And we'll start sucking and extracting. We're gonna start sucking. <laughs> All those bees are fine in there. If you look right down at the bottom, they're all oh, moving yeah. around well. So the first one was chopping them up, and so it's been trial and error. Very cool. Yeah. This and I've made this so it has different suction abilities. I put flaps on the side, which allows more air to come in and out. So there's a, oh, a regulator okay. here. So I'm doing it on as soft as it will go, and then I can adjust the, the suction properties. Guys, these bees are so tame, they're not even trying to. No, I don't especially think the queen, you think the queen will be in that hole right there? Yeah, they build holes so they can get from one side to another. Is that ever fucking cool? Yeah. How the hell do they make it so it's like perfect, like hexagons or whatever the hell you call well, them? How do we talk? We don't know, we're just engineered that way. Well, that's fucking cool. Yeah. How old do you think this hive is? Oh, it's not too old. We'll have to see how far back it goes, but I'm guessing it's probably three, four weeks. Yeah, so probably around the time I thought I thought it could have happened then. Yeah. Uh, the old cone will be much darker, almost uh, dark brown to almost close to black. Okay. So 
every time we vacuum it out, we're taking a piece of the hive and we're putting it in this, and then he's gonna put them in the box, I guess, and create the new home for them. Right now, we're just, what the deal is, is we're just trying to search, we're trying to find the queen. As soon as we get the queen, we can trap the queen in this little thing that he's got. And we can, as soon as we get the queen, we can put it in that bee box. And then the bees will follow the queen wherever they go. So this is what he's gonna, as soon as he finds the queen, he's gonna trap it inside of here. Pretty cool. And this is what we're doing with the cone. Putting it in there. And if there's any larvae, he said he'll put them in the middle. <laughs> We're looking for the queen, what? One second, kiddo. I'll come in and talk to you later, okay? So we're getting close. So we're getting into the pieces of cone that have larvae in them. So I guess that means we're getting close to the queen. There's eggs in the bottom, and then the older larvae, they're little like macaronis. They're all in there. Oh, you okay. see that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we're getting close. We got the queen. All right, so that's what's left of it. And what we think has happened is mice have made up a nest in there and that's where all that insulation has went. It's been all cleared out and it created a perfect space for the bees to create a nest, so. I'm gonna rip out all that old insulation. I'm gonna clean out the uh, mouse nest and then I'm gonna stuff it full of insulation. I have some in the garage and then uh, we'll board it back up. I'll just scab a piece of two by four on this joist. I'll scab a piece on that joist. And then we'll put that piece of wood back in. And then we're gonna go all the way along the edge and we're gonna spray foam in that gap so that nothing can make its way back in there again. All right, it started to rain a little bit there, so I had to uh, put the camera in so we didn't get a little bit of footage, but my buddy Wayne's gone, got all the bees, captured the queen as I showed you, uh, got everything loaded up, and uh, he's going to go home and do all the transferring everything into his bee box and the bee boxes. And I've got the cavity all cleaned up, and as you can see, there's some straggler bees. They don't really know where to go, but uh, there's that little hole there. I'm going to spray foam that hole. And then I'm going to fill that cavity with insulation. And then I'm going to cut some 2 by 4 put it right here, put it right here. Might have to do two pieces there. And then uh, just to bring it out enough so I can nail that piece of board back in. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our spray foam all the way along the bottom to clear that seal in that void. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I decided to go with caulking instead for that hole. So that's what we will use. Now I'm going to get started on the uh, cutting the pieces of 2x4 so I could scab that other piece back on and then we'll uh, fill it with insulation and then put that board back up. Alright so there we go we've got our pieces of wood boom had to double up on this one because we cut a little too far on this piece and then we just stuff that cavity full of insulation so it's no longer attractive to the bees and uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our board back up. Alright there we go got our board back in 
got it all screwed in and then I just used some caulking just to close the gaps there because we want to eliminate any chance of the bees deciding to you know what make it their home again but I don't think they would just for the simple fact that this is stuffed with insulation now the only reason they made it their home in the first place is because there was a mouse nest in there and the mouse decided to remove all of that insulation so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the spray foam out and go nuts along the bottom there of the uh, sill or whatever the hell you want to call it all right we got the flashing back up the insulation spray foamed all around the bottom of that sill and uh, yeah we're good there just gonna have to uh, I cut a piece another piece of tar paper to go up there and then another piece for there I just gotta tape it and Bob will be my uncle as far as the siding goes I don't know what I'm gonna do there yet um, that's something that I don't know how to do I'll, I'll try we'll see what happens oh and just like that it never friggin happened oh yeah so just got to put that satellite cable back up and we're friggin golden so a little bit of a different one here on ghost my vlogs <laughs> haven't done a vid in a long time so hey this is a good one to come back with eh? but uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, leave me a comment down below. Love the comments. And to my buddy Wayne Patrick, awesome, awesome. Big thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Um, go check out, uh, I'm not even sure if he has a Facebook page, Green Griffins Maintenance and Repair. And uh, beekeeping's a new hobby of his that he just started a couple years ago. So, yeah, really, really appreciate him helping me out. But uh, anyways gonna end the video here guys so take it easy and until next time keep it scrappy